you know, it's me, your little boy, okay, something. You know, let me tell you something, choosing ones. <laughs> the plans of your enemy and their everyday prayer is for God to do or to abandon you so that they will be able to accomplish their purpose. Let me tell you, many of us don't know that our enemies are accurately what warriors. They are prayer warriors in their own term. They are praying earnestly every day to see that God abandoned you. Trust me, choosing these people are, are what are, are so ignorant to believe that one day their plot will accurately come to established. These people are so what, idiotic. Let me put it in this way so that all, each of us will understand accurately what I mean. They are stupid to believe that one day our Heavenly Father will reject us. Our God will reject us. Our God will no longer protect our going out and our coming in. So that their evil aim and purpose in our life will accurately be accomplished. Because trust me, many of us have no idea where they have, what they have did, how long they have been plotting, what they have done to make sure nothing work out for you. You have no idea that there are a lot of people up there who are so pissed off, they are so mad because of the fact that God is just securing your life. God is protecting everything you put your hand. God is providing all your necessary needs. God is protecting your going out and your coming in. You have no idea. You have no idea that there are people who are so frustrated, humiliated, because no weapon formed against you, no enchantment made against you, is accurately working as they, as they hope and as, as they expected. You have no idea that there are people today who are earnestly waiting, believing, you know, you know, watching you, monitoring you, to see that God abandoned you. Trust me, there are a lot of your enemies, your relatives, your cousins, who have plot evil, and none of their evil is capable to break you down. They have plot their enchantment, yet none of their enchantment is able to work. Now they are waiting one day for God to abandon you. They are waiting one day for God to forget you. They are waiting one day for you to offend God in one way to another. They are waiting one day for God to reject you so that they will come with a full force. But let me tell you, we can never be an abandoned project. We can never be rejected. We can never be abandoned. The Bible says, I will protect your going out and your coming in. He said, I will guide you. I will provide all your needs. So you have a lot of people who are seriously sold so interest for God to abandon you because they know the reason why you are protected they know the reason why you are secured they know the reason why your life is totally what going where today is because of God they know that you are not evil like them they know that your hands are pure you don't do evil like them they know that the reason why you're going out and you're coming in is accurately protected all is because of God and many of them their aim and their expectation every day is to see God abandon you but trust me God will never abandon you neither will he allow your enemies aim and purpose to come to accomplished God will never reject you for the sake of those who are jealous and envious of you God will never allow the weapons of your enemy to form or prosper in your life it does not matter the Bible make it clear he said, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. He said, Rejoice not over me, O ye, o ye my enemy. There are people who have rejoiced because of what you go through. But what shocked them is that God stepped in to lift you up. There are people who have celebrated because of what you were going through. But God stepped in and elevated you and blessed you right in front of that storm, right in front of that war to their cost which they never expect. This is why they can never ever be happy no matter what you give them or what you offer to them because God keep disappointing them and God refused and God did not abandon you the way they hope or expected it to be. Remain blessed.